Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Myself ID. Today I am going to tell you about an important topic in WFM which will I cover today that is capacity planning. I will also clear you guys about how many types of capacity planning and why it is required or more required in WFM. So friends, if you are working for WFM or if you are planning to move in WFM or if you are, you are already preparing to be in WFM, then this video will really help you a lot to grow yourself, to have a good knowledge about WFM concept about the capacity planning. So friends, I will discuss about this today. And I will also discuss broadly how many components are required to do capacity planning and what are more important things that really needs to be uh, to be in, include in this calculation. So friends, be online, keep watching our channel and stay tuned with WFM and more by ID channel to learn more and earn more. Okay, so friends, uh, we on it. If I will also request you a more that if you are our new new viewer and you have still not subscribed my channel, so please subscribe my channel WFM and more by ID and also press the bell icon to get more updates about my videos because I am making the videos about WFM and MIS and reporting related which will really help you to grow okay so friends we online if still I will request you if, if still there are some uh, doubt from your side and some input from your side to make my video more beautiful to more uh, attractive way or you can suggest me anything which can which can be shared to all people so please write us on comment box or you can also send me mail my email id is mr.ishwarsharma at the red gmail.com which is also you can find in my youtube channel okay so thank you friends be online let's discuss what is capacity planning so friends what I have mentioned here, you can see that capacity planning is a process by which we plan staffing to handle the volume by some specific assumptions to meet all the client met. So this is the definition of capacity planning in my works. Okay, so you can also say that uh, what in your words in your views it can be some difference uh, the definition but in the simple way if i would like to tell you we we have to calculate the numbers of head count against the handling against the uh, handle the volume whatever the volume has been shared by the business uh, on basis some specific uh, assumptions components to inbuild it in it okay in simple capacity plan is much important in every call center or every process way because by this act we actually plan how many of head counts are required against the FT. So friends listen again how many head counts are required against the FT is the uh, we can say the short line of capacity planning. So now you have a different question in your mind then what is the difference between headcount and FTE? Headcounts mean and FTE means what is the difference? So you can also watch my another video to make this clarity. What is the difference between headcount and FTE? Because if you are seeing this video for capacity planning, if you are bond, if you want to know about capacity planning before it you have also be clear on this then difference between headcount and FT. So you can go in my video list 
and you can see difference between headcount and FTP. In short, I am also telling you about the head difference of headcount and FTP. So, what is headcount? Headcount is the total numbers of employee or total numbers of headcount in an organization. And in other another way, what is FTP? FTP is how many hours to be working for your target. That is FT. Okay. So in more description, if you want to learn about difference between headcount and FT, you can watch my another video by seeing the video list. So friends, wait and moving ahead for know about capacity planning. So friends, what are the required input? I will discuss you today. So required input for capacity planning are here. You can watch AST, you can watch volume, occupancy, shrinkage, service level, SL, SL means service level, active headcount, attrition, shift in flexibility, learning curve of AST, and some more components can be in will in calculation for capacity planning because WFM is not too short and Excel is also not too short. But we have to learn how many things are required and more important to learn. Okay, we cannot learn everything, but we can learn something by which we can grow. Okay, so friends, first component, if you I would like to tell you, we have to be ready with volume volume means focus volume okay volume you have to be ready the first component will be volume for capacity planning so you have to be ready with volume okay then the next is mandate that is ast ast means average handling time okay average handling time so what is ast average handling time to handle a call okay or handle a volume Next is occupancy, next is string case, next is service level, attrition, tip in flexibility, these are and so on. So many components that can be all included in capacity planning. But as per the situation, what exactly what we have to result out? So we have to uh, in uh, we have to include the calculation input. If you uh, wants to know more about AST in description. What is AST? What is occupancy? What is string case? What is service level? So you can go in my video list and you can watch everything that is there in a very easy language to learn you more. Okay, so now moving the types of capacity plan. Okay, what are the types of capacity plan so friends i would like to tell you also that if you are going any interview and if you are going to face an interview the interviewer can also ask you what is cap plan so do not be confused because cap plan in some way are cap, that is also saying that cap plan what is cap plan means what is capacity planning okay so in other words, we can also and tell like, like the capacity plan or cap plan. Okay, so there are two types. There are two types of capacity plan. First is we can calculate the capacity on manual basis, manual calculation basis. Okay, another is we can calculate, we can result out the numbers for headcount on basis of Erlang calculation. Okay. So in manual planning, well, we can say manual planning basis on workload calculation. So friends, we are calculating workload, then we are calculating the headcounts required. Okay. So what is workload? A, a workload is the total volume and into handling time. It means to say once we uh, multiply the volume and EST, then it will result out like workload. First, we calculate the workload basis planning, 
and another way we can calculate the Erlang calculation basis plan. So friends, I would like to tell you that there is a theory uh, of Erlang on which basis we plan the capacity. Okay. So in today's video, uh, this was uh, to tell you in short about the capacity planning, the type of capacity planning, the required input of capacity planning, the definitions is short definition in my words for capacity planning. So friends, stay tuned our channel and watch more videos about WFM and reporting and MIS related. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being on watching with WFM and more. My ID. Happy Monday.